Well, he finally did it. Trump launches his new platform. And it's touted as a Twitter knockoff. But it's nothing like Twitter. Now, this is a what seems to be a modular type of platform. This is it here. It's called DonaldJTrump.com, the desk. So it appears as though this could be built out to something more. But as it sits now, it pretty much just has his daily posts of what he wants to say without being censored. And there's, of course, a store at the top here, which is to be expected. There's a contr uh, contribute button. He has, there is some talk on here about the next run for presidency. And so for people that are interested in this and still have hope, um, this is probably something they would sign up for if they're still living in the right-left paradigm. You can also add down here to sign up for alerts. And you, he'll get your name, your phone number, and your email. And be able to stay in contact with you. Now, I won't sign up for this as there's really no reason to unless you're a follower. And the problem with this is it doesn't allow people to sign up, make accounts, build followers... And get the word out about some of the things that he claims to stand for. The grassroots. The me and you. You know, some of the things that YouTube originally was founded on. You and me. This seems to be more about him. And that's fine for people that believe in him. But he can't do it alone. There needs to be crosstalk. There needs to be the ability for people to whose voices are the loudest to rise at the top to share information and again this is seems to be modular so i'm sure they'll add that on later but maybe they won't but for now this seems to meet the needs of the people that are hungry to hear from him which he's now been pretty much banned off of most platforms so there are a lot of people out there that still follow him and want to hear what he has to say and that this particular website will probably meet their needs. Now, what is uh, Faux News saying about this? Launches a new communications platform months after Twitter and Facebook ban. Now, they're saying it's very expensive to build the infrastructure necessary to have any kind of platform to compete with YouTube, but I don't quite buy that. That's what they're telling us because that's a convenient excuse as to why only certain information is allowed to be on the internet in any successful form in the form of something like a YouTube website. But other sites have tried to do it with a lot less funding. I would like to see something similar to what you'd see on like Odyssey or BitChute. Those weren't multi-billionaires who made those sites. And uh, I would like to see Trump do something like that. If this is all sincere. I have my concerns, though. In the same way that the whole crap it hole event went down. And the people that showed up are still on the roast. Still being tracked down, thrown into court, fined. Losing their livelihoods just because they showed up to an event. I believe that they will be continue to mine people's data. You will go on a list and you will be part of the people who will be electronically harassed and have knocks at your door. When you start talking about certain things in other social media platforms. Now the platform does allow for you to share his posts, but not your own. So, we'll see how all this goes down. I think there was something else I wanted to show you on here. I think it says, oh, it says paid for by Save America JFC, a joint fundraising community uh, PAC, not authorized by the candidates of the committee. So, this is what's paying for that. These are coming from the contributions that people have made to these organizations. But, um, 
on the negative side, a lot of people are calling this a glorified web page and not a social media site. I wouldn't go as far as to say that, but this is definitely nothing compared to the abilities that we had on other platforms and us and the people being part of the platform, not just one person. So what does faux news have to say about this? Launched a communication platform on Tuesday, which will serve as a place to speak freely and safely. Eventually give him the ability to communicate directly with his followers after months of being banned. From the desk of DJT appears. Space allows Trump to post comments, images, and videos. A beacon of freedom arises. So this is what's pretty much on there. All of his content. Um, again, I would like to see this expanded. I, I wouldn't say that I would never uh, sign up for something like this. If he had some similar type of platform as YouTube or Twitter. Um, just to see what would happen as long as you could maintain your anonymity by doing so. So I don't know. It says Trump's new platform service Tuesday after advisors had told phone news that the former president planned to move forward to create a social media platform of his own after being banned from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Snapchat after the Capitol riots. Great resource to find his latest statements and highlights from his first term in office, but this is not a new social media platform. See, they're admitting that here, even on Fox News. We'll have additional information coming on that front in the very near future. Okay, so we'll keep keep our eyes peeled, ears open. Now, as you can imagine, a lot of the people on YouTube that are still part of the Letter That Shall Not Be Named group are overselling this. They're making it sound like all their dreams have come true. In fact, I got a link that's I heard about this from another channel that is knee deep in the movement and basically oversold it. So I had to come see for myself. And of course, this is nothing compared to like a Twitter site, but it is a start. I guess you could say that. But beware of channels out there overselling this kind of stuff, making it sound like all of the or all your questions have been answered. See, they don't want you as part of the process. They don't want grassroots discussions about what's wrong in this country. They want to basically assign you a leader and you get to listen to that leader and cheer them on. That's what they really want. And that's what this site appears to be. So far, now here's some of the comments down here, and there's a lot of support for him, of course, but some people are disappointed in the one-way communication. He says he has a real opportunity to create a new social media site that puts a serious dent in Twitter, Facebook, and Twitter, and as well as a video platform. You know, so think about how powerful it was. On YouTube when some of the letters that shall not be named movement were doing videos for him. That is a huge part. I would say even much more so than Twitter. So it's kind of interesting how they're kind of avoiding that so far. They're avoiding the video hosting. Which again could easily be put together because we've seen other sites doing it. They just don't have any endorsement behind them. Like Odyssey, BitChute. Spending a fraction of what you would think it would cost to do it. So, um, some people are calling this just a simple blog, which I would believe that that could be the case as well. Now here they're talking about content laws and censorship. So apparently there's still some of that on this site. You're not allowed to, you can heart something, but it doesn't show how many hearts it got. And you, there's no two-way communication with him on the site. It says if he created a two-way platform, he'd be liable to the same content laws. In other words, he'd have to censor himself as followers or be shut down by those who traffic his data. So I don't know if that's true, but this is a comment that was left. 
So there you go. There's the update. We'll see what happens. Take care, everybody.